So I'm down here at the practice range, and one of the things that I've had a lot of people ask me about is how do I hit a fairway bunker shot? And the thing that I like to tell people is that hitting a fairway bunker shot is very similar to how you hit an iron shot off the ground. Uh, in both cases, we're trying to hit the ball before we hit the ground, or in this case, before we hit the sand. Um, out of the sand, the penalty for hitting behind the ball is just slightly higher. Uh, if you're hitting it from the grass, the club sometimes will bounce into the ball and you can still get away with hitting it slightly fat or slightly thin. It's a little more difficult out of the sand, especially if you hit it fat. So there's a few things you could do, uh, some in your setup and some in your golf swing, that would help you hit it solid out of fairway bunker all the time. So one of the things that I like to do is just set up with a little bit more weight on my left foot. So when I get in there, I don't dig in tremendously. I set up a little bit more weight on my left foot and the reason I do that is because I want to make sure that I'm not contacting the ball uh, behind the ball and get too much sand. So I'm setting up a little more weight on my left foot. Sometimes I'll take an extra club just because out of the sand, the most important thing is making solid contact. So I'll take an extra club and I'll shorten up my backswing and make sure that I'm keeping it real compact. Uh, people that tend to hook the ball will have a harder time hitting shots out of the sand just because the angle that they come into the ball is a little bit too much from the inside for sand shots. So generally people that curve the ball left to right actually do a little better out of a fairway bunker. So I'm going to do those things and I'm going to hit a shot. I'm going to set up a little more weight on my left foot. I'm going to take one extra club and I'm going to shorten my swing and make sure that I'm not moving around a whole lot. That was a pretty good one. Remember those tips next time you're in a fairway bunker. So one of the ways that you can practice fairway bunker shots, and actually it would be beneficial to your entire iron game, is to come down here in the fairway bunker and make what looks kind of like a tic-tac-toe board. Uh, the great Manuel De La Torre, who teaches at Milwaukee Country Club, has taught a lot of good players. And he has people come out the first time uh, when they take a golf lesson with him, and he makes them hit fairway bunker shots. That's one of the first things they do. Because he knows that if somebody struggles making clean contact out of a fairway bunker, that they're probably not hitting the ground in the same spot every time. So make a little tic-tac-toe grid and start with little swings. And all we're trying to do is make contact on the line that's going this way. And we're trying to make sure that our divot matches the line that's going to my target. So the lines that I have down here, this one's going to kind of the flag on the left, which you can't see, but you want to aim it at your target and start with just little swings. And you can look at your divot and you wanna check, is my divot at the line or in front of the line? All really good ball strikers, when they do this drill, they would make contact on the line or in front of the line. That's how they get that good ball turf contact. Uh, when you hear people say, I wanna hit down on it, it's really not what you'd say. I mean, a lot of people think it's hit down on it this way. It's really just because I'm moving my body forward. I'm catching the ball before I hit the ground. So you take some practice swings, line it up, check where your divots are, and then you can hit some small shots and just check. Generally, people will hit the line easier when they're not hitting a ball. When you put the ball in, the, line, uh, the divot tends to be back a little bit further. So hit some small shots. Still pretty good. Eventually work your way up to full swings. This is a great drill. Like I said, start without a ball. Gives you immediate feedback on where your club's contacting the ground. 